So now we basically have it finished except for the text. So I made the text in another composition. So control N to make a new composition. Call this text. Make sure it's five seconds, 29.97, just like our other comp. And I'm going to go back to one view here so we can see what we're doing. And what I did is I just grabbed our text tool, typed in introducing, make sure I turn off the transparency here, introducing as one layer, duplicate that, introducing whoever you want. All right. So you can make it whatever font you want, but I actually suggest that you use a uh, kind of a thick font for this. So I used Evil Dead. You can get that at defont.com. Evil Dead. All right. And what I also did is I added a stroke to it. So click this, then set to black. Two pixels is good. Do that for the other layer as well. And then to make to make this little background panel here, that's just a solid. So I'm going to go to layer new solid. Just black is fine. And then I'm going to just draw user mask tool and draw out rectangle like this. Put that on the bottom here, and then I'm just going to line everything up the way that we want it. So, you know, make it a little bit random, however you want to make it. I think it looks good when you randomize it a little bit. And probably make this text smaller. Introducing new tutorials. And then I'm probably going to actually bring the mask a little skinnier. Maybe not that skinny. Something like this. So it kind of has like an overlapping but not quite feel to it. And then I'm going to feather out the mask like five pixels. Nah, that, no, I'm not. I'm going to feather it out maybe one pixel. Alright, cool. So before we bring this into our other comp, what I'm going to do is actually offset these layers in 3D space. So make them all 3D layers. Go back into our two view horizontal here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to grab the, the black thing, move it back a little bit. I'm going to grab the introducing, move it forward a little bit. And then I'm going to grab the new tutorials thing and leave it where it is. And if I'm going to scale up the background a little bit so it's back to where we had it before. So I'll do it like that. All right. You can obviously do whatever you want on this part, but this is just what I did. So now we're going to go back into our main sequence and bring in our text. And by default, it's going to be a 2D, 2D layer. If I make it a 3D layer, it's just going to be 2D, you can see. So to fix this, you have to press this switch right here. This will turn on the 3D capabilities and you can see the 3D that we just made in the other composition stays with it. So now we just have to position it in a spot that we want. So down, over. Maybe scale it down. What I'm going to do is actually bring up our character here. He's a little bit small. I'm going to scale him up and bring him up. Make sure that you don't cut him off at the bottom. All right, so something like this. I'm not going to spend too much time making it perfect, but you can. And that looks good. So now the only thing we have left to do is to refine the camera, add some color correction, and add some depth of field, which is always cool. So first I'm going to add some depth of field. So to do that, select your camera and press AA. Make sure depth of field is on. 
and then increase the aperture until everything blurs that you the way you want to. You can see it's starting to blur out more. The background starting to get really blurry. The foreground should be getting blurry. Something like that. You can see that the background is now blurred out. So now we just have to animate the camera a little bit so that we can show off all this 3D stuff that we created. So I'm going to select our camera, press P on our keyboard to open up position, set a keyframe at the beginning, and set a keyframe at the end. And at the beginning, we're going to go to our camera tool, and I'm going to orbit ever so slightly. So very slightly to show off all those 3D stuff that we created. So maybe like that. And you can see it's already starting to look pretty cool. Maybe that's too much. So you don't want to, you obviously don't want to go too far because then you can obviously tell that everything's two dimensional. So that's about good. And the background is getting cut off, so to fix that, just scale up the background until it fits. And now you can see we've got a pretty cool animations, and I'm going to actually orbit this the other direction a little bit. So we can see we've got that parallaxing between the foreground and background going. Make sure you scale up the background again so it fills all gaps. All right. So the last thing we have to do is just color correct it. So to color correct it, I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to drag on Magic Bullet Looks, which is an outside plugin. I suggest that you get it because it's a very good color correction tool. Very easy to use. I'm going to go into our edit category. I'm just going to add a preset. Save some time. Maybe this one. Uh, change the colors a little bit. And once you're finished, press finished. You can see that updates. And I can see that our atmosphere here is a little bit too bright, and so is our dust. So just go into the opacity of these layers and bring it down just a little bit, maybe 50%. Do the same with our atmosphere. 50%. So now we can <laughs> start to get back some detail and, and have the blacks be better. Alright, cool. So that's basically the gist of it. I suggest that you guys go through and actually refine it and make it perfect. And another thing you can do is add a lens flare. I'm not going to go over that because that is because I'm running out of time already. Don't want to make this too long, but go ahead and add other things and, and mess around a little bit. Uh, but now that you know that this is basically how I did it, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like the video if you haven't already because it really helps me out. And leave a comment on other things that you want to see. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next tutorial.